They'll be calling you radical, Kevin Blanche at Moss Landing at Elkhorn Slough. And I want to address this. We're going to talk about this in this video. We're going to talk about the acute collapse of all this ecology in Southern California, Monterey County. I walk from Mexico to San Francisco. I've looked at all of it. It's, it's not the gradual collapse. It's not the gradual ecological collapse at all. You say, oh, it's just, it's been collapsing for years, Guy McPherson. It's inevitable. Bullshit. Let me tell you something. You think there were just a few natives that lived here? In, in North America, in California, hundreds of th millions, 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 millions. So humans, this is the generation. This generation is not, a, they, they believe they're so arrogant, they're above all living creatures, but they think they're the chosen generation that's above all human genera. Oh, and times, bro. We can rape, pillage, rob, do everything we want. And then God's will. What about Steinbeck right here? Tim shall thou mayest. That's the Hebrew word out of the Old Testament. It means men are responsible for their actions. They just It's a crutch, 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 Charles Crutch. So we're going to have Chris talk about the evolution of the ecology in Monterey County here. You know, so go ahead, Chris. Well, it all, it started before the Spanish came. The Spanish arrived here and settled in, on June 3rd, 1770. That was the founding of Monterey. That was where Father Sarah and Governor Gaspar de Portola and the soldiers, they came and they started the Presidio at Monterey and the Carmel Mission was originally in Monterey before it was moved to Carmel. That was June 3rd, 1770. But before that, in 1602, December 1602, January 1603, Sebastian Vizcaino named, gave Monterey Bay its name after the Count of Monterey in New Spain, which, is, which became Mexico. And that was in 1602. They landed at Monterey Bay, and that and the fall of the neighborhood really it started June 3rd, 1770, and that was the that was the death knell for the native populations here, with the diseases that the Spanish uh, brought with them, with the enslavement, with uh, the the mistreatment of them, and forcing them to build the missions. It was, they weren't, they were, they look today like places of beauty, but they were really, in, in their heyday, they were, they were places of death. And before the Spanish came here, this was, this was the Garden of Eden. In fact, Father Sarah penned in his own diary, he called Carmel. Carmel was his favorite place, his favorite mission of all the missions. He called it the Garden of God, and it was for good reason, because at that time it was the Garden of God. It was, it was the closest thing to the Garden of Eden on earth that we can get, that we that we could get, and it's been being raped ever since and I'll getting quote, worse uh, and I'm going to quote Russell Means. Russell Means says, you Europeans came to this land. You came to what we call North, I love it, North America, America Vespucci, you need to speak American. He was from Florence, Italy. So they came to this native land looking for heaven, looking for heaven. He says, before you got here, we had heaven. We had no disease. We had no locks. We had no gels. And it's important to understand that you know, the Spaniards and their robbing and their pillaging. And then in 1848, this became the United States. My grandfather stood right there, you know, at the tree. Talk about the tree. You know, you're talking about it yesterday. Oh, the, the Vizcaino oak. That was where the founding, that was the founding of Monterey, was at that oak tree. And that oak tree died uh, around 1905, roughly around 1905, 06. And it died because they had built in around 1886 when they pushed the Southern Pacific pushed the railroad through from Monterey to Pacific Grove. They had to fill in the cove, the original landing cove that was down by where Fisherman's Wharf is now. They had to fill that in. And where the tunnel, where the Monterey Tunnel is, that was all filled in material where that cove used to be. But there's a marker, there's a stone, a Vermont granite uh, Celtic cross stone that marks the spot, the exact spot where Monterey was founded. And that's where the oak tree was growing. And that oak tree was already mature in 1602. And when Father Sarah came June 3rd, 1770, and said mass and hung the bells from the branches of that oak tree in, in Monterey in 1770, that tree, that tree was, had already been a couple of hundred, had been several hundred years old. And it died of having its roots uh, saturated with water when the culvert, when the culvert uh, filled in and the tree died. And they took the workers, uh, didn't know the significance of the historical significance of it. They took it and they threw it into the Monterey Bay. And 
one of the fathers at the uh, Father Ramon Mestres recognized the significance. He was at the, the uh, Monterey Presidio Chapel, and he asked the Portuguese fishermen to go out into the bay with their boats and tow it back to shore, and they took the, the trunk of the tree, the remainder of it, and put it into the back of the church at, in Monterey, the, the San Carlos Cathedral, into the backyard of the, of the, of the, of the, of the church, and they built uh, chairs, commemorative chairs out of the branches. Uh, there were several chairs. Uh, a couple of museums in Monterey have some of those original chairs. The, uh, the acorn, there's an acorn that was taken from that oak tree, and it is the, the Stokes adobe, which is behind the Monterey Library. Uh, that, that oak tree growing in front of the Stokes adobe, which is now a restaurant, is from that, is the oak tree is from that acorn, from, the, from that, that, that famous tree that's the most famous tree in Monterey. Now also talk, Chris, if you would, about the glass bottom swan boats in oh, the Victorian yes, Ed and looking yes, at the tide at, pools. At Lover's Point, yeah, in the, in the late 1800s, going all the way up until the 1970s, I can remember as a kid, seeing when the last, the very tail end of it, they had, um, they had glass bottom boats that were in the Marine Gardens at Lover's Point and PG, Pacific Grove, and that was a designated Marine Gardens, and the boats had swan heads on, you know, on, the, bra on the bow and stern, and so it was basically a match matching ends, and the, the, the people who, would look in, who were looking through the view, viewport in the middle of the boat on the floor, there was a curtain, there was a, 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 an awning over the top, and then there was a black curtain that they would put around and so you would create contrast so so they could see the bottom much more clearly. And I know a retired archaeologist and historian author, Donald Howard, who's still who's still living, and he came here in 1954, and I've known him for over 20 years. And he he remembered he remembered the marine environment down there. He remembered how rich it was in those marine gardens. They were abalone, they were crab, they were sea urchin. There was, uh, and this this was probably up until up until the 70s, and then after that, it started getting raped, and it was, and it just went downhill from there. Until now, there's nothing, there's nothing, there's no marine life down there. That's sad. So anyway, we're documenting the tide pools, you know, and it's more acute now, post Fukushima, and whatnot. We'll get more footage. So we're here at the El Cone Slough, the great last marsh left in. This land, this big landmass, you want to call America, America Vespucci. Yeah, you need to speak American. Okay, he spoke Italiano and Spanish. So, it's sad what's going on with the sanctuary. It's, I mean, in San Diego County, it's all plastic. At least Monterey has blocked the plastic. Everybody thinks, and they block the frackers, and they block, but let's get real about this. In California, it's like in San Francisco County, San Mateo County, Ventura County, LA, you know, up there, they'll tell you how green they are. Oh, there's so much plastic, it's disgusting. It's money trumps their environmentalism. Do not greed, peace, Eric. I knew Stegner personally. And so, I, you know, it's so sad, and so, San Diego County, which was a lot like Monterey County when I was a child, is gone. It's over. Hasta la vista. They, they'll talk about it. And there's people to fight and try. But let's get real. Here comes the train. That's the Amtrak. Right through the Moss Land. Oh, good. We'll keep the video going. And so, the sat, they're not fucking green. They're, they're Disneyland. They're at the sanctuaries there because I stay in Carlsbad with Lori and we do all the work. You walk through. They let people walk through. It's, it's beyond disgusting. It's beyond disgusting. There's more plastic on the beach per square inch in Carlsbad in San Diego. Come to the dollar store, go on vacation, just leave it wash out. There's more plastic in San Diego County than LA. You know, that's saying a lot. We know what filth LA County, you know, Manhattan Beach. But now, you know, Fukushima's trumped it all. So how do these animals have a chance? They're up against these sickening, arrogant, and it's me, me. And I love it how everybody thinks, oh, this is just inevitable, the evolution of humanity. It's generational arrogance. No, 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 no. Hundreds of millions of native indigenous people, 29 tribes in San Diego, including my grandpa. The statue at Old Town is my grandfather. He's the guy that found the suitors. You know, Abraham is going to force my grandfather. You know, he's the first. They call themselves the great communists in symphony with the indigenous people. They lived here for thousands of years in harmony by millions millions this and california's ahead of the curve trust me they're much better than the rest of the country 
It's disturbing. It's disgusting. This arrogance of this me, me, me generation. They don't care about Alan. They don't care about other people. They don't care. But at least we're trying in California. Where I live in Utah, we got no shot. No shot. This HR is right behind my house, like this, the second biggest one in the country. Some corporate welfare dairy farmers, politicians, drained it off illegally. But laws are only good as the enforcement of the law. And they don't care. You know, obviously, they blocked the fishing in Puget Sound this year. They don't care. They don't care. They still fishing. They just lie. And, you know, the Oregon salmon numbers, they just lie. The Chamber of Commerce, you know, they act. The Endangered Species Act should have kicked in on the salmon. The greatest collapse. You can't argue with about Fukushima anymore. The greatest ecological collapse in human history. Greed. Greed. And it's not just inevitable. It's not manifest destination on Balco. No, it's a sickening, grotesque, me, 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 me. John Steinbeck, we simply went from the we to the I. Kevin Blanche, we simply went from the we to the I to the capital we, 1945 to 1970, to the capital I, 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 Cal, I, foreign I, A, which they're better than the rest of the country, but that ain't saying much. Stan tuned. <laughs> may, I say, may I say just yeah, add yeah, one yeah. thing? Sure. For me, my personal protest to the system that we live in is I have gotten myself for the most part taking myself off the grid I have I canceled my Yahoo and my Gmail email accounts my can I deactivated my Facebook account I retired my smartphone and downgraded to a, a $15 flip phone a, a pay-as-you-go phone that is the most technology that I will go well, I don't have you a know, TV. You, you can do all that go ahead you know, I've never got a smartphone and you could do that. But, you know, that's your own personal choice. I don't it's believe that's the choice. answer. I don't believe it's the answer. It's the community. Yeah, we can all go off the grid. Good luck to you. You know, get your gun and go into your bunker and lick your go bars. But this is a community until we can join together and talk to each other and have a community. You know, the personal choices, I'm all for those. But this separation from a country with 350 million people, good luck to you. So. Anyway, we'll stay in tune and we'll stay on this. We'll stay on this.